The underlying energy for the month is this Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is fire energy. So this could possibly be um, Aries, Leo, or Sag. They're warm, chillful, sorry, cheerful, um, helpful. They like that lioness or that lion energy, you know, type of thing if it is a woman. But to get back, if it's not to do with a person, then this is saying to you about feminine power, passion, or creativity, being bold in your undertakings, you know, having the courage, looking to accomplish a lot in a short amount of time. She's ambitious, you know, she's a go-getter, she's a creator. All right, next we have the Three of Wands. With the Three of Wands, this is a um, completion of initial stages, you know, your ships are coming in. This could also point to possible travel maybe overseas. But with this card, you feel more comfortable. You're heading in the right direction. Think expansion. Think the next step that needs to be taken. But you must stay committed. And sometimes you have to stretch beyond your comfort zone to make these things happen. All right, next we have the Three of Cups. And with the Three of Cups, this is friendship, community, teamwork, maybe creative collaborations. This can also inspire each other. Or should I say, this is where people come together to inspire each other and lift each other up. You know, this could be friends or family. They're there to support you. Or it could just be a night out, you know. Partay. <laughs> okay, next we have the Eight of Cups. And this is walking away or leaving behind disillusionment or emotional fulfillment is lacking. You're not waiting around. You're moving on to better or to new things. It's... Like, whatever's not serving you. Next, we have the <clears throat> Magician in Reverse. And this is ruled by Mercury, so this is air energy. But in Reverse, this can talk about illusions or being out of touch or trickery or miscommunications. It could be someone has a hidden agenda. Or this could be where you're obsessed with power or maybe made a bad decision or a reckless decision. You know, sometimes it's like... Thinking for floor speaking or, like I said before, miscommunication in some way. And this could also be not taking action and following your, uh, being lazy. Like, because this is all about creating and manifesting. In reverse, it could also be like, eh, I'm not really sure or backing off from it or procrastinating away from something like that. And you're not applying yourself. You can't mean that. <clears throat> or things have delayed and slowed down. All right, next we have the Two of Pentacles. And with the Two of Pentacles, this is balancing decision, priorities, adapting to change. You know, maybe you need to cut down on your tasks. Maybe you thought multitasking or taking on all this stuff would be okay, but it's really not. It's like, eh, I don't think so. Next we have the Lover's Card. This is ruled, I believe, by Gemini. And with the Lover's Card... This is choices, union, uh, love, relationships, harmony, attractiveness. This is empowering each other. This is a choice between the things that are opposing and mutually sorry, mutually exclusive. you got to figure out what you stand for. Uh, be authentic to you. All right, next we have the High Priestess. And this is ruled by the moon and our emotions. Um, this is about the inner voice, the intuition, the divine truth, the wisdom, the unconscious secrets that are to be revealed, and they're often beneficial. It's time to listen to your gut, all right? And there may just be some uh, information coming to you, like sometimes like downloads or something. All right, next we have the star card. And the star card is ruled by Aquarius, another air energy. This is hope. Faith, healing, rebuilding, rejuvenation, better times are ahead, you know, welcome reprieved after destruction. Maybe you've endured a lot of challenges and you've been stripped clean or bare of the things that held you back or were not helpful to you. They were harmful. Um, this could also be about renewed power and healing rifts. All right, next we have, you have a lot of air energy going on. Okay, next we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is head over heart. It's truth. It's discipline. It encourages you to use logic to navigate the path ahead. You know, make well-informed and researched decisions. It's not a time for, you know, love. It's being a master of your emotions. And sometimes this can represent justice or law enforcement or, you know, a judge. Sometimes it can be. But this is also about being in your power. Um... 
with this reading, I feel like passion and creation, and it could do with passion with someone that you liked or a relationship. Um, and it could be a creative endeavor or, uh, it's like to me, when I see this up here, it, I almost feel like there could be someone here, um, like a third person. Like, I don't know if you were going to collab with someone on creative project or getting together with someone. Uh, and it could also be, but maybe it didn't work out because I get like this here. It's like, if it is a creative travel creative collaboration like you know you've got things set in place and you're like okay I wanted to move forward this way and maybe I was going to work with these people and it's kind of like I'm not sure if that's going to fulfill me and it's like maybe you felt there was some kind of miscommunication between y'all or it's like just in your gut you didn't feel like it was right or it's not really what all it's chopped up to be or talked up to be and it's like you're making a decision do I really want to follow through with this or not? Do I trust these people or not? Because on this side, it's like trickery. And this side, it's like decision. Do I want to follow this path? And it's like you really got to listen to your gut. And um, you might just have to leave it behind and move forward on something else. But it's like you're going to have to make the choice. And you're going to have to really research and really figure out what you want. Um, because here, it's like, you know, he's he gets to the truth of the matter. And this could also revolve around a relationship. There could be something here with a relationship that maybe there's concern of a third party involved, you know, in a relationship. I don't know why. Like, maybe, um, well, reason I, I'm not saying, like, it could be maybe you're concerned that there may be a third person in your relationship. Or maybe you want to bring a third person into your relationship. I don't know. <laughs> and it's like, maybe that isn't going to work out. It's like maybe I had the idea and I was seeing the bigger picture. Maybe, or it could be that maybe you've started working towards something that you're passionate about and you were celebrating it and excited about it and you were telling your buddies and your friends and you're gossiping or whatever and then the truth of the matter is I'm not really sure about it. I don't think I really want it is the feeling I get. And it's like, I have to decide if I want to do that or not, or if I need to really find what I'm truly called towards. And it's all about listening to your intuition. And your guides are here for you as well. Um, and it may be you just have to have faith. If it does deal with a relationship, you know, I'm trying to be very careful with these things since it is general. But if this is like, I know some people have open relationships so there could be that, or it could just be maybe you think someone's cheating, or there is a third person involved. If it's not doing with business, it could also do with, um, and it could be a third person interacting in your business or in your relationship. Like maybe they're trying to wedge their way into a situation, like someone's offering their opinions and they might not be truthful, and it's really throwing your relationship out of balance. Or maybe the desire for someone else. Maybe you're in a relationship and you have a desire for someone else. And it's like a hidden secret that you have. And you're like, um, I don't know. And it's like, maybe I need to just let that go for now. And decide to just stay where I'm at with my relationship. It could be that as well. I mean, I'm trying to offer as many different avenues here. Since this is general. But it's like you really need to just cut the emotion out. And really be logical about it. You know, see the logic of it. And really, um, so yeah, I mean, it could be a relationship, whether it's a business relationship, friendship, um, family member, a group of friends, or it's an actual marriage or romantic relationship. Um, it could be. But then too, like I said, this could also be about your creative passions within you. Are growing and it's like I want to accomplish more I want to make things happen more you know I'm ready to move I'm seeing the bigger picture and like I said there could be like collaborating with someone else or like just seeing the bigger picture and realizing that yeah I've celebrated and now I've got to move on hmm. yeah there could like I said there could be like a collab with someone else or maybe you could be um I get this feeling like working with other people or something to and maybe it's you're just not sure about it so yeah but you know have faith have hope 
you know, not all is lost if this didn't work out. If you decided that, you know, that's not what I want, that's perfectly fine. It's saying to you here that it's going to be okay, that you're supported by the divine, but you have to make a choice that is a hard choice for you, but you need to do what's authentic to you, what's true to you, where you, it really lies within yourself and your deepest part of you, okay? <clears throat> Speak your truth. It's kind of the way that says to me. Speak your authentic truth. All right. So I did pull some extra clarifying cards just to see if the universe had anything else to say about this reading. And I got Mercury. <laughs> and the magician here is that. And this is one for Mercury. And uh, this is about business, salesmanship, fabrication. And I also got with it Venus, which is number two. And this is about beauty, love, and relationships. So when this Mercury card appears in a reading... Mercury is the productive side. It's revealed. You know, business may be good um, in progress and a creative projects may be even better. In either case, entrepreneurial endeavors have Mercury's blessing. Like I said, this inspiration or this potential to make something. It's like Mercury is the creator. And maybe you're unsure about creating this or collaborating, like I said, with someone else. And you have to trust your instinct. And it comes in with Venus here. And when Venus arrives, this is about um, dealing with the desires of the heart and is its nurturing force in all relationships to strengthen a current relationship or begin a new one. Um, Venus usually asks that one make the time to indulge in the deep conversations or to spend a little time on intimacy in one's upcoming um, endeavors. Okay, so it's like really get in there. And figure out if this is what you want, whether it's a relationship, a new relationship with someone, or adding someone into a relationship, or getting a partner, or maybe the way you feel about someone else, or maybe someone else is getting involved in your relationship, or your partnership, or your friendship, whatever it may be. It's like I, it is, as far as creative and passionate, it's like you have a zest to find out and reveal the truth if someone's interfering in a relationship that you have. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, okay? But um, I do want to say that I will do numbers for this because I do find for my Facebook followers, they do kind of like when I do numerology or angel numbers. So with this, I add one and two and you get three. So with the angel number three, um, it has the energy of kindness, joy, creativity, and imagination. It represents inspiration, creation, and manifestation, okay, and growth. All right. It symbolizes the interconnectedness of the body, mind, and spirit and carefully aligning with the divine energy. And since that's being said, this could mean maybe it's not outside of you. Maybe this is where it's like saying your mind, body, spirit, everything comes together. Three. See? <laughs> three. Got three threes there. And it's like the interconnectedness between all and between your spirit and what you need to do and what you need to follow and what's true to you, what calls to you, what do you desire, all right? It's like authentic truth again, you know, speaking that truth of yourself, what you want, what you want to create, what really calls to you, 